Good evening. We are going to start our webinar. Good evening, one and all students here. This is the fifth lecture under series two of Environment and Development Webinar Series. Each and every Saturday, we gather here in this virtual Google platform to hear new and new topics from our beloved and respected research. On September 2020, we have started the webinar series to disseminate knowledge and to assemble same minded people, maybe professors, teachers, research scholars, students, or environmentalists. Myself, Dr. Pompey Ghosh, Assistant Professor of Botany, Shivabharati Mohavidyalai, Kapgari Jhargam, and Dr. Devaprata Das, Associate Professor of Botany, GGDC, Langor, Jhargam, West Bengal, with the collaboration of Dishtipan organization, have started the program. But now, many eminent persons are with us to do the same. One thing again, I want to say that we all are doing this uh, program voluntarily. And uh, today we have with us Dr. Nadisen Bayer Nadimutu, Assistant Professor of Botany, Tagor Government Arts and Science College, Puducherry, and Research Person. He is going to deliver his lecture on mushroom, very interesting thing. And today we have with us Professor Vitanath Cha, uh, sir, retired principal and professor, Elon Nikhila. Uh, University Dharmaranga Bihar to deliver vote of thanks on valedictory session. So again, welcome all in this virtual platform. Now, I would like to request Dr. Devakota Das, most enthusiastic and hardworking person of our webinar management committee, to welcome and introduce our today's research person, Dr. Nadimusu Seth. And over to you, Dr. Das. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Pompey, Madam. Uh, today's resource person is Dr. Nathisen Pyar Nadimuthu. Sir is Assistant Professor of Botany, Agor Government Arts and Science College, Laos State, Puducherry. Sir did his BSc from Bharati Dasan University in the year 1989 and ranked first class. Similarly, he did his master's from Bharati Dasan University in the year 1992, first rank. Followed by MPhil degree from University of Madras in the year 1993. He did his PhD in marine biology from Annamala University in the year 1999. Earlier, sir, joined as lecturer and assistant professor in Avayar College for Women since September 3rd, 2004 till 20th March 2018. Sir, now working in the Department of Botany as Assistant Professor, Tagore Government Arts and Science College, Laospet, Puducherry. His teaching experience, 16 years and more. Sir, completed one minor project funded by UGC as Principal Investigator. His work theme is on coastal soil of Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry. Sir was co-investigator in a project, a major project, and did his work for phytodiversity and preparation of E. flora on Goraitol district. Sir completed many student projects 
under UBCHEA. Sir published more than 16 papers in national and international reputed journals. Sir is also a co-author of a book entitled Edible Mushroom Culture. Sir is also member in the PhD doctoral committee, Bharati Dasan University. Sir is coordinator also for YRC and he was also nodal officer of UGC, coordinator of IQAG and nodal officer Rusa for the earlier college. Sir delivered lecture during COVID and before 13 including our one lecture in the previous biodiversity series. Seminar workshop organized for, sir is more than that. Now sir, platform is ready for you and for your presentation. Sir, over to you. Anyhow, sir, start the uh, program. I think uh, after that it will come to a particular uh, stage or level. Yes, 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 start. I 
Yes, yes, I do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Voice is not clear, sir. It's breaking. Uh, in uh, 
Participant, please wait because this is a problem. Sir is doing uh, best to make it, I think, uh, proper. After that, uh, he will start.
నౌ లిసన్ సార్ హలో
Sir, please unmute yourself. Narasan, sir, please unmute yourself. Okay, sir. Now start. Okay, okay. Aisan Mashrugal, sir. This is what the topic we are going to do. This sir, is go to the first slide. Yeah, yeah, this is the first slide, sir. First slide. First slide. I am in first slide only. Okay, sir. First slide, sir. I am in first slide only, sir. Now it's okay, sir. This is first slide one. Um, start, sir. Yeah, yeah. Aisan Mashrugal, sir. This is what the topic we are going to discuss uh, today. Um, what is it actually, uh, what is the topic I'm actually going to discuss uh, what, uh, uh, means? Um, that is nothing other, uh, uh, other than the common one uh, visual what we are seeing in the marketplace. Uh, and nothing is uh, uh, new regarding that. But it is having some interesting things that are not commonly known to everybody. And uh, those things I want to uh, Expect, uh, to the understanding of everybody. Uh, when we uh, visit the market uh, nowadays, we could be able to see uh, the uh, a market, a vegetable market like this. Uh, there will be plenty of country vegetables in that uh, uh, there are um, pockets that are having um, some white colored material and that is called uh, actually the mushrooms. This is what the common understanding of uh, people. This is not the case in earlier days. Uh, before 2015 or uh, uh, even um, later on 16, 17 also, not this much of uh, mushrooms would be able to see in uh, the vegetable markets. Um, coming to the um, understanding about the mushrooms, uh, most of the people, people think that uh, that is one of the vegetable like uh, our brinjal and tomato that are available in the market and uh, most of the people who are commonly using the mushrooms are not knowing actually what it is and uh, therefore this aspect, I mean this um, fundamental understanding about the mushrooms uh, should be no made known to everybody. And that is possible only because of the uh, awareness creation, like uh, this kind of seminars. Uh, that should reach the common people uh, so as to utilize the mushrooms to the maximum extent for their benefit, because that is having so much of benefit, we are going to see that, those things. Um, and uh, these uh, mushrooms are not a uh, new thing to the human being that are uh, known to the um, tribals from the age immemorial, that is uh, from the ancient period. The people, those who are living around the forest or inside the forest, they used to see these uh, mushrooms commonly every day and that has uh, been the part of their daily, uh, I mean, protein diet. But for the people who are staying off, living in cities and um, other villages that are not having the forest access, these mushrooms are not a common one that, and that are a, a new one for them. So majority of the people are not living in the forest but uh, living in other uh, um, areas like um, cultivable areas and then uh, and uh, cities, villages and towns and uh, they uh, are really lacking the understanding about the mushrooms. These mushrooms um, once were used only by the tribals and that were thought of uh, yeah, um, uh, poor man's food. 
nobody prefer to take that one in earlier days but nowadays uh, so if you um, uh, review the literature these uh, mushrooms are uh, termed as kalambi in tamil that is uh, mentioned in one uh, tamil uh, sangam literature called sirubana tripadai that sangam period is actually known before uh, um, Christ 500 years and anadamne 200 years this is the age for sangam period in that in, the, in that period there is a literature called the sirubana tripadai in that that mushroom has been mentioned as a kalambi so before christ people used to take mushrooms in uh, this kalambi term uh, is mm. equivalent to the mm, term coon that is uh, in malayalam also we are they are telling as coon there are uh, mar- uh, uh, coon <coughs> known as uh, marak coon and then arisi coon it means that uh, the mushrooms that are living in uh, um woods woods uh, woodlocks and then uh, rice like things and these kind of uh, mushrooms are though known from the sangam period their utilization their consumption is only by the tribal peoples till they come into the market see from these photographs what we understand is these mark uh, mushrooms have occupied the market i mean supermarket from the rural market how this shifting has been taken place and then from the idle kitchen to a busy kitchen idle kitchen people used to cook at home for their domestic i mean daily needs once or twice in a day rural in rural areas normally they will cook for one uh, one time only the same food they will consume for the rest of the two times from this idle kitchen to this mushroom has traveled to a busy kitchen how this uh, mushroom have become uh, as a popular food i mean popular uh, one in busy kitchen these are the two questions uh, arise when we go deeper into that uh, history it is uh, actually beyond that there are so many questions arising beyond that and uh, those questions are what and how we are go- uh, we are getting the answer for those questions how how does the questions have been answered all these things are uh, part of this seminar actually uh, what the mushrooms are many people uh, may not be knowing because uh, these are not uh, common organism everywhere we can see and uh, scientifically the students who are studying uh, they will be knowing the definition for that and the sources they will be but what are the mushrooms really means they are fungi like plant and animal and the other uh, group of organism uh, are uh, fungi they are sir move the slides madam uh you are in the fast light uh so move slide that is that is that is moving madam not it no i'm i am saying that uh, sir move the slides you are in the fast light no that that is the fourth slide madam now no sir you know you are not you are in a, still in fast light move slide sir okay sir, yes, sir now it's oh, moving oh, okay 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 Uh, sir are you uh, giving me a slide mode sir yeah slide that is slide uh, yeah 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 that is in slide mode only another another one is also opened it's because of uh, oh. switch over because of that switch over so many complications sir okay sir okay, okay. now it's okay madam okay sir okay but still not in slide mode sir not in slide mode madam ha oh, full slide mode actually full slide mode that, that that is not in full slide mode no sir 
If possible, otherwise uh, leave it. Now it's the second, it's the third. Eh? Ah, third. Yeah, fourth. fourth. This one is fourth. Yes, this one is fourth slide. Uh, yeah, fifth slide. Ah, fifth slide. Leave it, sir. Okay. Leave it, sir. Okay, okay. You you move manually. Okay, okay, okay. 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 So, all these questions are unable to answer by this seminar because it's a vast area. So, to the limit, limited extent, I want to uh, um, share my views and experiences with you um, through this uh, seminar. Fungi are, uh, mushrooms are, uh, mushrooms are uh, fungi. Like plants and animals, they are uh, the group having the property of both the plants and animals. It has uh, some properties similar to that of plants and some properties similar to that of animals. And therefore it is categorized as a separate, even as a kingdom. Um, and the organism are rich as that of plants and uh, animals to study this fungi as a separate kingdom. Whether these fungi all are called as mushroom means it is not so. Because the fungal thallus structure differs from uh, unicellular to a yeah, uh, large visible fruit body, uh, from microfungi to macrofungi. These microfungi are not referred as mushrooms. Then what are mushroom means? The mushrooms are the fungi that are fleshy in nature. These fleshy fungi mainly falls under either mostly falls under either Desiree mycotina or uh, Asco mycotina. Among these two fungal divisions, the mushrooms are coming mostly from the Desiree mycotes. Actually, these are also the filamentous uh, forms, but they are developing the large fleshy part that is otherwise called as fruit bodies at the time of maturity. Like plants, they germinate I mean, they uh, grow and produce uh, fruits and then uh, seeds and these, uh, these seeds germinate and produce again the seedlings. These mushrooms also uh, grow from mycelium to the filamentous thread-like structure to uh, the uh, filamentous thread-like structure to the um, visible fleshy fruit body known as uh, uh, fungal group body. And from that fruit body, Spores are liberating, like seeds in angiospermic plants, flowering plants. These are non-flowering plants, but they are producing spores, the small, tiny probules, and that are uh, uh, acting like uh, seeds. What the seeds are doing in higher plants, that is the do, uh, uh, performed by that job is performed by the spores that are produced by the. Uh, fruit bodies of uh, the mushrooms or fungal fungi. What uh, you are seeing here is one, one upper one is the, the basidium acid and the, the lower one is uh, the ascom acid. This is moral, that is uh, dermatomyces. And uh, why these uh, mushrooms are uh, gaining significance means because of the delicacy and then their nutritional uh, uh, value and then they are medicinal properties. These three things have made the human being to think about these mushrooms for utilization at a large. As a result of this utilization from wild resources, there was a scarcity and these wild resources are not available throughout the year and therefore the people started cultivating the mushroom. That is how the uh, cultivation of mushroom uh, starting. Initially, there were uh, um, no, um, sorry, um, these mushrooms um, are equal to the tough chicken in their taste and their nutritional values are better than the meat, I mean especially the protein content. In addition to that, they are having minerals, vitamins and other things as a set of vegetables. So, one can get the benefit of uh, the meat as well as the vegetables 
from one organism means that is nothing other than mushrooms. Apart from that, these mushrooms are having high calorific, I mean low calorific value and high protein and this nature makes the mushrooms as an ideal one for diabetic and hypertension patients. The recent researches are also showing that the mushrooms are having anti-cancerous properties. Therefore, these medicinal, nutritional and delicacy are thinking the, uh, I mean, are making the people to think about the utilization and that that is why the market is nowadays having plenty of mushrooms. Whether all these mushrooms are edible means no, it is not uh, so. There are uh, some uh, mushrooms edible and some are not edible and those with edible mushrooms are called as edible mushrooms and the poisonous mushrooms are called as toads toads. Those poisonous mushrooms and edible mushrooms cannot be easily differentiated by a um, common man. One can understand or one can differentiate these edible and poisonous mushrooms based on the um, traditional understanding. There is no um, hard and fast uh, segregation of um, these edible as well as uh, mushroom species uh, to demarket. Uh, there is no proper guidelines for that. Some are telling that bright colored are poisonous, uh, dull colored are uh, edible like that. It is not so. One can understand by experience only. Therefore, uh, consumption of the wild mushroom is not that much uh, easy or that not that much ideal if you are not knowing the um, edible nature of the plant. That uh, the local people are uh, knowing based on their traditional um, uh, I mean utilization. Coming to the history of that uh, edible mushroom cultivation, that uh, edible mushroom cultivation has started from the year uh, 1632, 1630 onwards. That was the um, first um, time that uh, agaricus rice was, that is called the button mushroom nowadays, that was uh, a popular mushroom throughout the world. Uh, that was the mushroom first started uh, one uh, in the cultivation process and the horse tongue was used as a uh, material for cultivating that one. Then uh, from that uh, year onwards, so many works has been carried out and in the year 1932, there was a major breakthrough uh, in the development of mushroom research. In that uh, year, uh, Dr. James uh, Sinden from Penn State University has uh, developed the grain-based spawn production. That is nothing other than the so-called seed, uh, mushroom spawn. That is nothing other than the seed mate seeding material for the production of mushrooms. Till then, the people were using the uh, wild collection of mushroom mat for uh, uh, growing the mushrooms. And uh, just like that, they will take the mushroom uh, mat from one soil, soil and they will throw it in another place that will grow and there they will collect like that, they were, uh, that practice was going on. And actually, this uh, commercial cultivation technique uh, has uh, cast up, that, uh, that, uh, that is from the invention of uh, Dr. James Sinden. What is that spawn actually? means it is not the spore. That is, uh, even he has uh, got the patent for that mushrooms uh, in the year 1932 and 1936. Uh, I mean mushroom, grain-based mushroom uh, spawn uh, production. Uh, that is nothing other than the uh, mycelium uh, grown in uh, any of the seed material. Preferably, we use uh, um, sorghum grains as a seeding material for preparing the mushrooms. Even rice and so many other grains are uh, used, but the more efficient one is uh, the certain grains. And uh, that uh, has uh, made the tremendous change in cultivation of uh, the mushrooms for uh, marketing. So from this point onwards, what happened is uh, throughout the world, people started cultivating that mushroom uh, industry has developed. Then that export started and uh, that mushroom has uh, grown all over the world. But in India, that, that is um, uh, till uh, 1940, 41, that the technology was adapted, but that, that 
not that much, uh, successful in cultivation. Later on only that uh, mushroom cultivation have uh, gained momentum. <coughs> Uh, there are uh, uh, hundreds of uh, mushroom species in different uh, uh, ecoregions available as edible mushrooms, but uh, all those mushroom species uh, are not cultivable because uh, they are uh, very specific uh, in their requirements and uh, a common supplement or a com common uh, platform or a common substratum will not uh, facilitate all to grow. Therefore, the cultivation uh, has become a uh, difficult process as far as the mushroom is concerned. Um, however, the technology has been developed for the cultivation of uh, some of the uh, mushrooms and, uh, that are cultivated throughout the world uh, in common. As far as India is concerned, uh, there are four different uh, mushroom species that are uh, under uh, commercial cultivation. One is called uh, Agaricus spiceforus and that is called as uh, button mushroom. Uh, next one is Calasif indica that is called the milky mushroom. The next one is uh, Valveriella valvesia that is called the Bradystra mushroom and then uh, Pleurotus species as Hoist mushroom. Once these mushrooms were uh, um, believed to be the um, mushrooms for different uh, ecoregions, uh, in North, I mean uh, Himalayan region, I mean from Jammu Kashmir and other places, Agaricus viceforus was the species under cultivation. And the eastern part it was uh, Valveriella valvesia, Orissa and uh, West Bengal and other regions. Um, Calasifer India, India was uh, uh, the native of uh, South India, in the southern part of Tamil, uh, uh, India that is Tamil Nadu and Kerala that was very common. I guess that western part was uh, with the Pleurotus species. That was a pattern previously adapted for cultivation of uh, different species, but not all the species were cultivated in all the places. Now the trend has changed. These mushrooms are cultivated everywhere because this agaricus space for us is a uh, temperate species, not a tropical species that will grow in a chill climatic condition. The temperature requirement is uh, less than 18, 17. Mm -hmm. So, this temperature uh, cannot be seen in other parts of uh, India other than these skill stations. So, that was a tough uh, task for them. Then. The technology has improved, now artificial growth system with uh, control of temperature conditions and other things have come up. Therefore, this cultivation of uh, agaricus waste products have become popular everywhere. Um, but it requires sophisticated facilities and uh, culturing will be costly if it is uh, done in a controlled condition. So that uh, um, th that is a constraint. These are the visuals of the four different mushrooms. One is uh, agaricus, um, this one, last one is uh, left bottom is agaricus viceforus, left top is uh, uh, calasif indica, that is a milky mushroom, that the color itself like a milk, therefore it is called as uh, milky mushroom. Then uh, right one is, uh, uh, upper one is Val Valveriella valvesia and uh, uh, bottom one, right bottom one is uh, Pleurotus. Pleurotus is having many number of uh, uh, species. These are the four common cultivable species um, we are um, having. Among the four common cultivable species, uh, I am uh, having <coughs> experience in cultivation of two different uh, um, groups. One is milky mushroom and another is ice mushrooms. Other two things I have not tried and it is not, uh, I have no chance to try for them that uh, agaricus price for us is requiring uh, sophisticated facilities and that cannot be uh, created in our place. Therefore, I could not do it. Similarly, this Valverilla valvesia, that uh, highly delicious fungi that uh, will decay easily and uh, <coughs> I couldn't uh, get the opportunity to go uh, for cultivation of that one. But other two aspects I have, two mushrooms I have cultivated for different purposes and I want to share that uh, experiences in this uh, seminar. So, uh, for the cultivation of uh, mushrooms, uh, we used to prepare uh, spawn. Spawn preparation is the basic need for uh, the, the cultivation of mushrooms. Uh, even nowadays, the spawn, uh, spawn is separately produces, uh, produced by some uh, people and that are available in market. 
if uh, people who are not uh, knowing the technology for spawn preparation they can uh, get the commercial spawn and they can go for cultivation this uh, spawn bottle cost around the 30 40 rupees now this and uh, those uh, spawn bottles can be prepared by us it is not a tough work the thing what we should do is we should uh, split open the um, stipe of the stipe is nothing other than the um uh, stock like structure that is uh, uh, the mushrooms are having above that one cap like structure is called pileus uh, this stock like structure has to be cut to open vertically uh, in the two equal halves and uh, from the middle we have to take a small portion of the uh, tissue and the, the tissue has to be transplanted in a uh, medium preferably we are using pda medium that can be prepared in a kitchen there is no Uh, much requirement uh, sophisticated requirement for that from that uh, tissue we can raise a mother culture these mother culture are grown in plates and that uh, mother culture can be transferred to the sorghum grains that are uh, sterilized this sterilization can be uh, done in a cooker and that is also requ- not required a sophisticated things and uh, after uh, soaking in water removal of that uh, chaffy grains um, that uh, sorghum grains has to be boiled in uh, water and that boiling is the important uh, process in making this part that should be half boiled not fully boiled if fully boiled means that is that can be consumed as a um, malt if it is half boiled then we have to take it drain the water mixing with the calcium carbonate of 20% then uh, um that it has to be put in a bottle or a polythene cover then again it has to be sterilized in an article article with uh, cooker in that sterilized uh, spawn i mean grains the yeah, portion of the um, mushroom i mean mycelium from the petri plate that is mother culture can be transferred to the um, bottle once that bottle uh, i mean transferred means this there is another uh, technique we have adapted that is a uh, very simple instead of going for mother culture uh, we can take uh, uh, the center portion of the tissue and the, uh, the tissue tra- can be tra- directly transferred to the grains this is what uh, one method uh, we have tried and we have succeeded there is no difficulty in that but uh, uh, if any contamination is there that will lead to complications that we can discuss later on at the end of the part so normally we have tried to prepare the spawn from a uh, stipe and uh, we could able to succeed with that in that and uh, instead of going for mother culture uh, preparation of mother culture every time and uh, making uh, the mother culture uh, i mean using that mother culture for preparation of spawn we can simply go for cutting the stipe and uh, transferring that one into the sorghum grains that also will do Uh, fruitful result but the thing is uh, everything should be done uh, in a proper way I, i mean sterilization and other things if you are uh, using the old knife that will be having fungal spore that will contaminate so what we should do is we should ensure the easy meat i mean sterility in every stage of uh, the process but it is not uh, uh, actually advocated one uh, i mean a suggested one for uh, the, uh, the making of spawn but we have tried we have succeeded that differences i want to explain here then after uh, spawn preparation we will go for bed making and uh, from that bed <coughs> small what we are, you are seeing here is the paddy straw that is processed um or i mean soaked in water for one day and then uh, steam boiled uh, instead of uh, adding formalin in commercial cultivation what the people are doing is they are adding 1% formalin to sterilize the paddy straw but normally we should not do that one because that formalin itself is carcinogenic uh, we, we should not uh, give uh, uh, formalin treatment so what we should uh, do is we should go for uh, sterilizing the paddy straw through the steam boiling method only in uh, villages we can see that anda on uh, large vessel in that you can uh, put the paddy straw overnight with a full of water drain the water to uh, 80 to 90 percent then the water bottom will be having the water then you uh, fire it what will happen is that by uh, that water will boil 
that will may spread the steam you put the uh, candy bags on the top so that the, it is like a cooker lid uh, that will not uh, allow the uh, steams to evaporate <coughs> the steams what uh, the steams are uh, coming up that steam will uh, stagnant uh, stay there itself because of the covering of uh, uh, the upper surface as a result what will happen is this microorganism whatever present in that will go off after half an hour or one hour again we can take it out we can drain in the um, net then that um, paddy straw with the 80 percent moisture, moisture content can be used as a substrate the uh, i have done one project on this uh, substrate preparation that i want to mention here um we have cut the paddy straw in different sizes and the paddy straw was used as such without uh, cutting into small pieces what the difference we could able to see is the paddy straw that was cut into small pieces were able to colonize well and they were able to uh, develop the fruit bodies mushrooms a short in a short period the paddy straw with the long uh, <coughs> length of pieces they their duration was little bit slow the paddy straw that was uh, not cut into pieces that was used as a full one was uh, giving very poor yield the reason behind that is the cut surfaces we are cutting the paddy straw like this means that cut surfaces are easily providing way for the entry of pollination of the mushrooms therefore the mushroom colonizes fast the spawn runs fast that is called the spawn run that complete colonization takes place in a short period so this uh, this uh, changes we have studied uh, by giving a dissertation to a student so um, that was an interesting uh, aspect we have noticed similarly another study what we have conducted is uh, we have uh, collected paddy straw uh, first the common uh, in common agricultural practices in early days cattle dressing was uh, common then um, uh, um tractor scheme and farm farm machinery scheme now that uh, uh, dressing procedure is entirely different straight away harvester is going cutting segregating and bundling the paddy straw that are not thrashed completely what is actually required for uh, easy colonization means that thrashed well thrashed paddy straw not a question thrashed one that is kept for near 6 months if it is for the cultivation uh, swan run will be very delay so this um, substrate is the basic uh, requirement for the growth and that should be properly treated and properly processed then um um this for uh, callus with indica i mean uh, milky mushroom cultivation we have this was a substrate for milky mushroom cultivation normally this uh, milky mushroom cultivation requires one uh, process known as casing that is nothing other than uh, sealing with uh, some material the surface normally people used to do sealing with the clay and uh, sand and then uh, red soil like um, uh, palm yard manure like so many things are available for say, casing their proportions are different but uh, i tried everywhere if you go for uh, searching the literature uh, immediately that uh, cultivation requires casing it is mandatory like that everybody will tell we succeeded without casing we have without casing of uh, this uh, palm yard manure or uh, um, so i mean soil we have adapted some other technique for casing the surface what for we are make case means uh, that casing will um, uh, ensure the temperature optimum temperature required for uh, the spawn run and then co2 level these are the main factor co2 level and temperature main co2 level inside the uh, bed we should cover with the top with the that is called the casing process so the gas is exchanged will not happen directly with the atmosphere as well as inside of the paper so what we did is we have made some other material 
to uh, uh, cover this surface. And uh, uh, after the uh, spawn run, we have simply removed that one. So I have not shown that because that, uh, that is not published information, and uh, unpublished information that is uh, still there, the data are with me for, uh, that is getting ready for publication. And uh, that material, uh, on par with the uh, other casing material that are available in the literature, uh, could be able to facilitate the spawn run and produce the uh, pinions. The next slide, what you are seeing is after removal of uh, um, the material what we used, we could be able to see the pinheads on the surface. You are in the right part, uh, top right was the uh, small, small uh, bubble like structures and that are called uh, pinheads. Once the pinhead, pinhead formation is uh, developed, then the food body. This is what the food body development is. So, uh, if you are applying soil over that entirely, then it will uh, uh, split open that soil area and that, that uh, food body will emerge. But here it is not like that. Simply we have taken out the material, this uh, food body has started coming out. So, that the food body has further developed. This is what the uh, uh, development you can see at different stages of uh, growth. Food body, then it gets mixed up. At the uh, tip, there is a pile that is small in nature. This is milky mushroom appearing bright white in color and uh, the stipe is very robust. Uh, that has grown like this. At, at the time of maturation, this uh, pile is cat that expands. The ventral side of the pile is having a gill that is visible now. now. This is what the matured fruit body. This uh, developmental changes we will be able to see. This, uh, uh, from this uh, uh, stage to this stage, we can harvest and take. But uh, the taste difference, when the, mature, mature, uh, when the fruit body is maturing, the smell of, we can, we can call it as mushroom smell, that mushroom smell will be little bit more. When the fruit body is young, that mushroom smell is a uh, little bit uh, low. So the ideal mm -hmm. stage for cultivation, I mean uh, consumption, would be uh, the, uh, the closed state of the pileus. If it is open, if it is enlarged like this, by the time that uh, flavor, mushroom flavor is very mushroom smell will be poor. So better we can go for uh, harvesting this uh, mushroom this stage and we can consume. Uh, this is myself with the uh, 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 Each fruit body uh, has yielded approximately 50 grams in my study. But I could be able to see this uh, um, calafif in market up to the size of 250 grams. Each fruit body weighing nearly uh, 250 grams. When I went to one supermarket, there was only one fruit body in a cover and that was uh, kept for selling. Like, like I said, there were plenty of uh, mushroom packets, each weighing nearly 250 grams. So that much of uh, yield, that much of size, we could be able to get by this uh, mushrooms. Then this is um, uh, Paddy's, I mean, uh, oyster mushroom cultivation. This was uh, taken, uh, this was uh, in fact, I mean, this has been done in the part previously. There I was a coordinator for a uh, mushroom, edible mushroom culture course that was funded by UBC. Um, the bed was prepared like that, and uh, we could develop uh, mushrooms like that. In the end, the development of all these things, you can see. Um, the, Difference um, can then in this cultivation to highlight only the uh, not the features what I could uh, see there. See in that the cultivation process. Here the side is seeing one bed with one cluster only, one poo, we in, we in Tamil we used to call it a yeah, cluster of uh, uh, food body. Here is with many clusters. The difference is. When we uh, say, actually, this, this was our accidental observation, what happened is, 
uh, when packing uh, we'll, after packing what we will uh, do is we will cut open the uh, polythene cover to facilitate the gas exchange and uh, um, what has happened is in uh, one bed that the plastic uh, bag one of immediately they happened to put another bag and uh, unknowingly uh, by mistake uh, it is we were uh, not punching that uh, bed after few days we, uh, we when we observed that bed there was uh, clumsiness in one place and in that particular place we have punched it so the entire uh, thing has started developing that clumsiness and that has produced about half of the idea of um, one single flower, I mean, flower, I mean cluster to be able to give nearly half a kg of flowers. Uh, but in other places we, uh, we, uh, where we have punched uh, with many uh, holes, each cluster was having 100 150 like that it is not uh, necessary to make a large number of holes to get the maximum fruit body as other literature is that the what i stand from my uh, observation so which in uh, bad scattered in uh, some that few places can get more hard uh, make punches like uh, everywhere i mean many places the food is coming like right you are seeing now the food are not uh, well developed that are with 20 and 30 so we have that they uh, convert to that biomass and uh, developing uh, from that um, i mean uh, padisa and developing the fruit bodies to one way one exit therefore everything is robust when it is uh, making fruit bodies all around the bed they are very thin because their mm-hmm. nutritional uh, requirement is more but they are not getting because everything is sharing that the fruit body developments are very when we want to get a robust fruit body in iced mushrooms we should lift the number of holes in the bed this is what the observation we have uh, made that uh, that could not be seen in other uh, literature also then coming to the uh, that, that is the bed with the single cluster uh, that we have taken we had one two to the gram of uh, mushroom we have got so during the process uh, there will be many other um, issues but the entity is the Uh, the mold growth there was a uh, colonization for the fungal organisms in that and uh, what you are seeing there is a uh, young uh, uh, pin head with plenty of uh, other mold colonization they are they are part of that uh, cap mushroom if you fail to sterilize the bed properly this kind of common weed mushrooms will come these are the thing brand so the other uh, milky mushroom but these are poisonous we should not consume that one so when we fail to sterilize properly when we uh, don't have the understanding about uh, the actual organism what we are culturing and then
ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਹਾਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਸਰ ਵੀ ਦੇ ਨੇ ਸਭ ਦਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਟੈਲੀਫੋਨ ਲਿਖ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਨੀਤ ਟੈਲੀਫੋਨ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਨੇ ਹਾਂ ਹਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਨਾ ਕਰਾਂ ग्रेवी this is also mushroom gravy these are some of the items uh, i take and what i have shown so far is the um, all, all are my own uh, photographs and my own the map card so you can prepare a mushroom gravy and uh, this can be used for the uh, variety of uh, things chapati we can have idli we can have dosa we can have dry fish and also you can prepare so these uh, mushrooms have what tremendous um, varieties nowadays as a result people are rushing to get the market this is the market so the market package is coming the market is not available because start started based in that when i was doing my msc uh just a minute just a minute
this one important uh, finding i have made and that is also not published one and i want to uh, build the magic of this mushroom this is a simple petri dish the upper three petri dish are having uh, black color the lower three are having white color and the right one is also white in color this is nothing other than the mushroom that i have grown in the uh, flask what i felt is whether mushrooms there are a few reports available on the nutrition reviews and all that are uh, saying that this is available that is available this much is available that much is available i want to understand whether all the mushrooms will have the same amount of uh, nutrients and minerals in that uh, approach i have given two uh, mm, elements as a supplements in the medium one is uh, another is because i am is uh, the the and we need for uh, health. if it is going down we will become ugly like this thing that women population and uh, ladies are well, ladies uh, population are well, vulnerable and uh, for this uh, deficiency and uh, the supplements they are taking as iron tablets and zinc tablets what i did is i have added iron and the zinc uh, in the calcium medium after that i have harvested that uh, uh, calcium from for the pyrethrum microscope the graph iron particle i have put iron particles in but take a photograph in your particle why you are seeing there are preparing particles are iron see this is the mice fungus thing and uh hard that they that mice was taken photograph under the nikan face cover what you are seeing here in inside the uh, mice here, small small granules of the sea are iron particles how beautiful it is from the medium that is taking the iron particles inside so when we supply uh, iron in the substrate that will be mushroom and if we are take that mushroom definitely the iron will come to us what the food they actually they are take and from the substrate they take and the natural resources and uh, natural net is stored in their body when and then come to our system what you are seeing here is the uh, the structure is the iron particle so this is a uh, mycelium with a elements i have as and also simply i I have grown the system in brown and hot. From that hot, I have taken the photograph, and the photograph is completely divided up in the particles of iron, no zinc. So this is a uh, zinc particles. So you will be knowing that iron is far different, actually uh, different in color. Iron will be appearing dark in color, light in color. This is what you are seeing this, in this thing. the dark colored is because of the intake of iron material from the medium they have it this those difference i mean uh, different concentration i have made that are, uh, that i don't want to mention here in that uh, we have determined the appropriate uh, concentration that is uh, uh, facilitating the growth as well as well, that is tolerable to the uh, mycelium otherwise you can see it like that so zinc and uh, uh, iron this two elements i have to we can for other elements instead of taking iron there we can think the must instead of taking in we can take that must if true whether we can uh, get uh, think that iron from the must is just cultivating um some paddy stuff it is not so that is depending upon the availability in the substrate so we cannot say that we can get the iron and zinc from the mushroom if we are cultivating that mushroom from a paddy straw or something else other substrate 
because the substratum should have these particles then only that will be transferred to the uh, fruit body i mean organism and the, from that organism it can be so this is nothing other than tailoring of uh, the mushrooms mm. this is going to be the future uh, of uh, this if anybody is uh, interested they can do that one tailoring of the mushrooms based on the human requirements so some population is uh, in need of uh, uh, iron some is made of uh, zinc it means instead of getting a tablet we can take the process um, so they to give iron as well as zinc by supplementing these minerals in the substratum then through the process that will come to the mushroom from the mushroom we can have it this is one aspect uh, anybody can think of tailoring the cultivation process based on the requirement so uh, one need not go and get the mushroom for a commonly available mushroom for any i can go and ask i need the mushroom with iron content one can go and ask i need the mushroom with zinc content like that these aspects i mean this uh, um, intake aspect accumulation aspects bio accumulation process this accumulation aspects ready for all the minerals as the result we can conclude this all the metals can be accumulated by the organisms and that through that process we can make it as a value added um, products the mushroom will naturally become as a value added one if you are incorporating these kind of things nowadays in um, uh, cultivation of uh, paddy rice people are uh, interpreting that um, uh, golden i mean golden rice vitamin b12 is being in part incorporated and we are getting that gold vitamin b12 from uh, uh, rice like this recently i have gone through one article um uh, vegetable research center has developed a tomato i mean uh, sorry um, tomato tomato brinjal and tomato that was crafted uh, to give both a uh, brinjal as well as uh, tomato like that. that is a customization of uh, the organism so we can also customize these organisms uh, for our requirement then uh, coming to the next aspect uh, that waste material we are what we are doing after culture uh, what we use will come to waste it's called spent substrate substrate i have contacted one speak uh, as a project work for one of the students with this uh, um there are plenty of literature available on this uh to use as um, um cattle feed poultry feed um, even as a manure and so on my attempt is on uh, on aspect to find out the germination of uh, germination effect of uh, this uh, mushroom substrate spent substrate was uh, dried after harvesting then it was uh, uh, i mean uh, milled as a powder this powder was mixed in different uh, concentration in water different seeds were selected and these seeds were soaked in that water i mean water of the concentration and these um, seeds were um, seeds were um, allowed to germinate after draining the water these seeds were allowed to germinate the germination process is result an interesting information this is the control left extreme is controlled this is with the high concentration gradually decreasing in normal concentration these mushroom and uh, seed were growing happy luxuriously the scale so see this white color left one extreme is without adding the mushroom substrate i mean spent substrate the uh, spent substrate added ones are colored that color differentiation shows the decreasing of the concentration of the spent substrate so in all the concentrations we will be able to get the increased height of the seeds so this is not the waste so therefore the mushroom cultivation uh, is have multiple advantages not uh, only one that is uh, the conversion of the plant residues that we consider as the waste will be used as a um, will be useful for uh, the development of uh, um, nutritious food normally what we will do is we will burn that uh, plant residues um, in open air 
that will emit the carbon dioxide and it will ultimately reflect on the global warming. Uh, we all know that uh, because of the introduction of uh, farm machines uh, uh, in the um, green uh, revolution period, the cattle population has come down. No, no village in the uh, sea the cattle. Only for the uh, milk, some just house work. In Tamil Nadu like places for uh, the, the they call the delicate, mm-hmm. some bulls are born. Other than that, for agriculture purposes, it is, it is totally missionary. Therefore, the consumption of paddy straw mm-hmm. as a cattle feed has gone down. Therefore, we are unable to get the manure, farm yard manure, another problem is started. Instead of burning this uh, plant residues, we can go for conversion of this bio residues, I mean uh, farm residues in their useful product. That is nothing other than the nutritious food, the mushrooms. If you are uh, 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 taking that uh, nutritious food from the mushrooms, that waste uh, and chance uh, from the waste will be possible. On the other side, we are seeing that nutritional requirements uh, yeah, may the fall. Population explosion and land reduction, scarcity of land uh, and water. These are all the things uh, uh, leading uh, um, to uh, the severe crisis in the agricultural practices. Getting material from agricultural processes is elaborate, time consuming. And the growing mushroom is the simple process you can get easily, if even that re- doesn't require large area for cultivation. And then conservation of the wild resources. People used to collect and sell these uh, uh, mushrooms from nature. That uh, nature is in need of mushrooms for recycling of elements in that area. If you are harvesting everything and there was nothing, the organisms are associated with the Mushrooms will die. The forest will become sterile. So, in order to avoid that one, uh, to pressure, to reduce the pressure on the wild mushroom cultivation, we can go for cultivation of the uh, mushrooms, and it will, in turn, uh, help conserve the wild resources. Then we can get the quality manure, quality cattle feed, and many things as a on the strength substrate. These are all the advantages we are having because of the mushroom cultivation. So, uh, while the cultivation is still, but one thing I want to specify here, while is always wild. The taste is entirely different. We cannot expect that taste from uncultivated mushrooms, though it is mushroom. That I have personally experienced. When we collect the mushroom from wine, that will give the fragrance of the native soil, that will give the smell of the native soil. But we cannot get that one in the cultivated mushroom. Even in Tamil Nadu, uh, we used to get uh, a mean, mm, one kind of fish from uh, clay area of uh, Madurai district, that is called the mean. That is very tasty. We cannot get that taste in anywhere, right? any other fishes. When we take that one, we can feel the smell of the soil. So naturally that uh, cannot be, that cannot be replaced, but we can, just because of that, we cannot fully destroy that one. Therefore, the conservation of the wild mushrooms are essential and that can be done through the um, cultivation and the cultivation will give scope for everybody. All can go and get the mushroom from forest, but by cultivation I can get my mushroom from the city. This is what the scope of the cultivation is giving and the cultivation is having so many other uh, openings also and uh, the f- finally what I have shown is the photograph, not my own, taken from the net, is the permatomasis from uh, the forest area. From the termite mound, how beautifully the mushrooms are coming out. This is what the nature, we should conserve the nature. With this, I conclude my lecture and I thank once again the organizers for giving me the opportunity and also I am sorry for the technical issues what we have faced with this uh, because of some reasons.
Thank you all. Thank you, sir. What is available presentation? You Thank are you. as good as you are in terms of presentation and explanation also, sir. Uh, this is the need for botany students and teachers. Uh, students, if you like to uh, grow these mushrooms for your business purpose, it is really a fantastic presentation uh, you have get from, sir. Uh, you have done a very good job, sir. Uh, very good, really. But uh, due to uh, poor network, uh, connection today, uh, uh, not only you, but uh, you, uh, uh, we also face some problems. So, participants, please pardon us. And now, uh, many questions, I think, in the mind of participants. So, sir, uh, do you want to see in chat box or? Yeah, I, I, I will see that one in chat box. Because of the disconnection of uh, my network, okay, okay, be, okay, uh, no, no, I cannot see all the uh, questions queries that were posted. Can you read that one, minute so that I can answer for them? Okay, okay, sir. But uh, uh, before that, I'd uh, uh, like to request Dr. Das for the announcement of next programs, that is webinar and conference. And uh, in, in the meantime, I'm trying to search chat box, sir. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Ma uh, I have a to uh, 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, two uh, uh, announcements. One is that we are going to organize uh, an international conference on environment sustainable development problems prospects and mitigation on 25th November to 27th November, three day program, an online program between 17 to 19. So, we are uh, that is taking uh, and research uh, article for publication in the care list journal as well as in the post form. So, those who are not able to send the uh, full chapter or recent article can be sent within 10th October because 10th October is the last date and those who are not in the team day and presenter or patient please register uh, yourself and go to the group. Two groups are there, one is the group 1 and another is the group 2. First group 2 is limited for the presenter and first group 1 is limited for the participant. Second announcement that we are going to organize another webinar on you know that is the biodiversity series because each series having 10 lectures. On 16th of the world, we have Professor Dr. Dhanendranath Mishra. Mr. Sir is a professor of working and pro vice chancellor of Punnaslok Ohilla Devi Halkar Solapur University, as you hold Solapur University. Sir, topic, Charms of Plant Science and Future Interest to Guru So, very interesting topic. I think all, all uh, that is uh, research that not only for what near plant science is, but others will uh, actively participate in this platform because main thing is interest uh, to do research. Charms of Plant Science and Future Interest to do research. That is uh, multidisciplinary research approach and to grow the interest among the researchers. Not only teachers, but also scholars, students and others in the field of the plant science. So, please go to the WhatsApp group, our telegram group. Uh, we will uh, post uh, today the registration link and register for your uh, participation on 16th October, evening 7 to 8.30 p.m. Thank you.
thank you dr das for your yes. answer uh, one one question is there how can a common man one question is yes, there sir, how, yes, uh, how can a common man identify the uh, edible as well as poisonous mushrooms uh, it is very difficult for a common man to identify the uh, edible as well as mushrooms uh, um, poisonous mushrooms one can uh, one will be knowing that one based on the traditional understanding um it is uh, not advisable uh, uh, for a common man to go in the search for uh, the mushroom from wild for consumption because uh, morphologically they are alike there is no i mean smell wise there, there is no difference at all and uh, um, color wise some people are telling that attractive color or uh, poisonous and dull colors are um safe some are telling that uh, that um, a mushroom that are uh, attracting bees and other things are safe and uh, there is no bees and other uh, ants are wild animals means that are not safe like that but it is not so there is no clear demarcation for uh, the wild and uh, edible mushrooms that is purely based on the traditional understanding sir another question from gayatri yeah. madam i think uh, she has left but uh she wrote that uh, can we cultivate all types of mushroom with paddy straw as base or should we use different substratum based on types of variety yeah paddy straw cannot be cultivated uh, uh, same in all the mushrooms cannot be cultivated uh, using paddy straw uh, paddy straw mushrooms and wild mushrooms valveriella valveriella valvesia can be cultivated through paddy straw uh, calasep indica can be cultivated using paddy straw um agaricus spicerus cannot be that requires a uh, um, compost compost for okay, okay, other thing, other three mushrooms what i have mentioned can be cultivated using uh, paddy straw okay sir given one one project i have given for uh, one of my student uh, with uh, different um uh, weed uh, materials uh, icarnia nowadays has become a common uh, nuisance in aquatic uh, ecosystem Uh, that is facilitating the transfer of uh, operation and therefore uh, um, aquatic bodies are uh, uh, getting operated fast and then uh, uh, they are preventing the light penetration there is no underground uh, organism in diversity like there is so many complications are there that are simply pulled out and tried in the uh, open area and uh, that has become useless i have given projects for the students uh, to use those resources as uh, um, substrate of cultivation that are uh, giving uh, yield but uh, not up to the level of uh, uh, paddy straw because paddy straw has uh, other uh, agro residues are uh, also uh, useful but uh, not uh, that much the growth of the mushrooms yield of mushrooms are uh, very okay. next question from uh, irun bam which type of mushroom is in demand and best for business purpose Yeah, the, see the commonly uh, um, uh, for cultivation, common man cultivation, the uh, two mushrooms are preferable, madam. One is a uh, uh, milky mushroom, and then uh, ice cream mushroom. Milky mushroom mm-hmm. will be almost similar to the top uh, button mushroom. Button mushroom is uh, um, high, uh, is in high demand because it's very costly also. Button mushroom costly also, sir. Yeah, but milky mushroom also equally good as that of butter mushroom. We can get the same uh, um, taste, but uh, when compared to uh, butter mushroom, this milky mushroom is uh, more fibrous. Fiber content is more, uh, more. So, mil- milky mushroom, anybody can cal- uh, cultivate, and uh, we can get the. Uh, Taste equal to equal under the top of the button mushroom from the milky mushroom. For common man cultivation, milky mushroom is better. Then next, next. What is the full process? Next of question mushroom? one. Question: uh, What is the actual cooking time of oyster mushroom? Ah, fifteen <laughs> minutes, man. Fifteen minutes. So I I suggested to uh, uh, try till the evaporation of the water content. 
Yes, sir. So, the, the complete uh, water content is evaporating means that this should be very good. So, no more questions, sir. Then one, one question is that, madam, what is the full process of mushroom culture? Uh, oh. Mushroom culture uh, involves a series of uh, um, uh, events, uh, right from the development of mother culture to harvesting. Mother culture can be first. Mother culture has to be developed. Then from mother culture, spawn has to be developed. Then uh, uh, bed preparation, substrate has to be processed. Then bed preparation. Then uh, keeping the bed in uh, mushroom grow room for uh, spawn run. Then vineyard formation. From that vineyard formation, fruit body development. All this uh, uh, bed preparation to harvesting should be uh, maintained um, in a mushroom hut. We need a special uh, area with uh, um, more moisture content to grow the mushrooms. Um, we cannot just like that to keep it outside. Okay, sir. Then uh, we are at the end of the program. So I would like to request Professor Bindanath Chha, sir, for the validatory session and give him a vote of thanks. Sir, Bindana Jha, sir. Bindana Jha, sir. Sir. Yes, yes, I am here. Okay, sir. There was some problem with connectivity. Okay. So I have to propose a vote of thanks. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I have to do the job of proposing a vote of thanks, party vote of thanks on my own behalf as well as on the behalf of the organizers. Uh, I have found Dr. N.P. Nadi Muthu, uh, Assistant Professor of Botany in the Tagore Government Arts and Science College, Law School, Puducherry. He has delivered his very his lecture, a scholarly lecture in a very lucid style on the topic eyes on mushroom culture. Uh, he is from Puducherry, uh, as I have already said, and the program has been organized by the Department of Botany, Lalgar Government College, Jhargram, uh, Seva Bharti Mahavidyale, Tapgari Jhargram, and Dr. Devavrat Das and Dr. Pampi Ghosh. They are the key persons who have been organizing it in a very grand way. I think uh, it was the fifth of the series. And uh, the topic uh, that is on mushroom is a very hot topic of the day. I think uh, he has described the different types of mushroom, which are very nutritious and much sought after uh, item, edible item in these days by those who are diabetics. And also uh, it is rich in protein. And I think uh, the problem of stubble burning in the uh, developed states of Punjab, Haryana, uh, Western UP and even the NCR region, these regions are facing the problem of uh, stubble burning and I think uh, this, uh, this uh, cultivation of mushroom is a good answer, good solution to this problem. I think uh, it should be exercised at a very augmented level and that is the demand of the time and I think uh, from the deep south he has uh, pointed a direction to the problem in the uh, north, northern India, and uh, um, is, uh, in, I have to mention one point that in our Bihar, Dr. Dayaram, you might be knowing him, uh, a teacher who is a pioneer worker in the field of mushroom cultivation. He has popularized this cultivation in a great way in the state of Bihar and the environ, environs. Uh, he is uh, with the Dr. Dr. Rajendra Prasad, Central Agriculture University, previously known as Rajendra Agriculture University. So, uh, it, is, it was a very timely lecture, a uh, very appropriate lecture, and uh, this has the uh, capability of solving the problems of utilization of agro residues uh, all over India uh, in a, a befitting way. So, once again, I thank uh, you, Dr. N.P. Nadimathu, and the organizers of this webinar in a very, very grand way. Thank you once again. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.
So we are really uh, proud for getting all of you in this common platform. Uh, we are looking forward to do the job in fruitful way with all of you. So remain with with all of us, and we are not. Uh, the Vibhuto sir and me are not organizer. All of you are with us, and all of you the part of this uh, webinar, sir. All of you. Thank you so much to all of you, and good night, and bye bye. Thank you, madam. Thank you so much. Sir.